Hi everyone. So thanks for coming back to the 30 day challenge. You've made it through the first video about preparation and we're in week one. So I wanted to come back to you and kind of go over what we talked about. Hopefully you got a lot of great information from our first video. I have had some great feedback about what people have learned from that first video. And one of the biggest things that I heard were one about the business plan and how looking at your Sensi business as an actual business, it's an actual job or career if you want it to be. So creating a business plan is a huge part of that mindset of that creation of that success that you're going to have if you view it as an actual business and view yourself as an actual entrepreneur. So that's exciting stuff to have that revelation happen. The other thing that I heard a lot about was connecting with your why and understanding that once you got to what your real why was, that it really gave you this push forward, this motivation, this drive to want to succeed so that that goal, or I'm sorry, that why is actually gonna come to fruition. Now, here was the key, and this is why I said the word goal. A lot of people mistake their why for a goal. And so we have a lot of goals that we will obtain, that we'll reach, that we'll get to along the way to achieving our why. And remember I said that your why is a person is not a person, place, or thing. Your goals are person, places, or things that you will attain, again, along that journey to your why. Your why is an emotion. It's, it's deep-seated. It's something that you have a hard time explaining at times. If somebody says, what's your why? And you say, oh, gosh, I'm, I'm not even really sure how to explain that to you but it's a feeling that I get, it's this emotion that overcomes me, then you know that you've reached your why or that you have an understanding of what your why is. A goal is saying, I wanna take this trip with my family or I wanna get this much money um, for my family or I want to have my own business for so many years. I wanna get this amount of a paycheck. I want to be able to stay home with my kids. All of those things are great goals. What you need to understand is that your why is why you're doing those things. Why is it important for you to stay home with your kids? Why do you need that amount of money? What has happened in your life to make you desire those things, those person, places, or things? That, the answer to that and digging a little bit deeper is what's going to be essentially where your why lies, okay? And remember that your why is probably going to make you cry. It's going to make you emotional. It's going to make you um, probably excited, maybe um, sad because you're reaching some things in yourself that you didn't really want to get to. Um, I shared with you guys in the last video that my why is so that I feel like I'm enough because growing up, I never felt like I was enough. It was never good enough. It was never, um, I never said enough or I didn't say it right enough or I didn't do it right enough or I... I and in even, not even just in my childhood, but in my adulthood, I never quite had enough. I never wanted enough. I never got enough. I never was enough. And so for me, it was to be able to show my kids that I can do this. Why is it important to show my kids that I can do this? So that I knew that I was enough for them. So see how that the goal was to show my kids that I could do it or to have this for my kids, right? But when you ask yourself, well, why is that important to you, Edie? It eventually, after asking myself why to all of my answers, got to the point where I was like, well, it's because I really want to feel like I'm enough. And so that's why it's important for us to really dig deep. Be honest with yourself, because honesty is the only place that you're going to find your why, okay? So I am curious to see where you guys are at with your homework and figuring out your why and your business plan. Comment below with all of the progress that you've been making. Make sure that you're sharing this series with your teams if you have one. Make sure that you are uh, posting it so that they can see and they can follow 
Make sure you like this video. Make sure you follow the channel so that you get notified of my new videos when I'm uploading them. And I'm just really excited that we have started this process and that we are in our 30 day challenge. So this is what you're gonna be able to expect. There will be a video that is topic related and next week we will change topic. Um, and then throughout the week, if I have some revelations, I'll come to you about that topic. So this week is all about preparation. It's all about getting your business in line with what you want it to be and um, getting you ready for success. All right. So let me know where you're at. Let me know how you're feeling about this series so far. And again, don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to share the series. Um, there is a playlist that is just for the 30 day challenge. If you want to share the playlist that way, when new videos are added, it will automatically um, be added to that playlist and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Yeah.